As Alan mentioned, there are about 150 miles of sandy beaches in Northeast Florida, and they provide important nesting grounds for these ancient creatures. Let's head to the beach to learn about these nests. About a month ago, a loggerhead sea turtle emerged from the ocean, trekked up the sand, and settled at a spot near the dunes where she laid perhaps 100 eggs. Just a foot below the surface of the sand, the eggs are developing into baby sea turtles. If all goes well, in about a month, the turtles will hatch and climb out in a flurry of tiny flippers and head immediately toward the ocean, using the reflection of the moonlight on the water as their guide. In just last year, over 1,300 loggerhead nests were laid on beaches of Northeast Florida. Every morning during the nesting season, groups of volunteers are out in force on turtle patrol. Caitlin, Stephanie, and I are part of a group of about 45 people that monitor four miles of sand around Michler's Landing in Ponte Vedra Beach, just south of Jacksonville. We search the beach for new nests and check the previous nests to see if anything has changed. Maybe a nest got predated by a dog, a crab, or was infested with fire ants. We're sure to note any subtle changes to paint an accurate picture of what happens to each nest. So far this season, we've been walking for 15 weeks. 88 nests have been documented as we near the end of the nesting season. Okay, so this is at 45 days. Uh, we're gonna need to do green tape. From years and years of data, we know loggerhead turtle nests generally hatch or emerge between 50 and 60 days. So, when we approach a nest that's been incubating for 45 days, we'll mark it with green tape to remind us to keep an extra close watch for the next few days. After hatchlings emerge from the nest, there are telltale signs. Like miniature tractors rolling over the sand, turtle hatchlings make subtle impressions. A whole slew of tracks are seen stemming from a central location, a depression located in the center of the marked nest where the baby sea turtles emerged the night before. We document the emergence and take photos to help paint the picture of what's happened to the nest, such as whether crabs or fire ants have invaded the nest. We clear the debris in front of the emergence area in case any other turtles emerge on successive nights. Three days later, another team excavated this nest and found many empty shells and discovered that those tracks came from 87 young turtles. <laughs> 